You're serious? You don't know. Everybody knows you never go full retarded. What do you mean? Check it out. Dustin Hoffman, Rain Man, look retarded, act retarded. Not retarded. Cat two picks, cheated cards. Autistic. Shut. Not retarded. They got Tom Hanks, Forrest Gump. Slow, yes, retarded, maybe. Braces on his leg. But he charmed the pants off next to him and won a ping pong competition. That ain't retarded. He was a goddamn war hero. You know any retarded war heroes? You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. What's up, my 1,500 plus subscribers? And the 74% who haven't subscribed yet? And welcome back to another Yo, Yo, Your Toy Review. I'm your host, Elwood Blues. And today, we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified, Robert Grungrave. All right, let's take a look at this box. Here we get Grunt in a helicopter crash scene. Nice little render of the character here. All the included accessories. On this side of the package, just more of that artwork extended. Number 87. Over here, we get the image, the number, QR code, and I'm not even gonna try. On this side of the box, we get a render of Grunt and all of his included accessories. Leg pouch action. Data pad action. More battle stats. Legal mush. On the top of the box, G.I. Joe classified logo. On the bottom of the box, more legal shit. And a barcode. The old cut. All right, and before we get started, I have to give you a warning. This warning goes out to all the giant man babies who cannot handle criticism. Probably a good idea to get out of here now because I really don't like this figure. Normally, I crack them. I give myself about five, ten minutes to look them over real quick, and then I get right to the review. This one I've had for a couple of days, and I've really mulled it over. Like I said, you can't handle some idiot in his basement saying that this toy is a giant piece of shit. Get out now, you've been warned. All right, and let's take a look at this figure and does this guy have the derp head? I think this thing looks horrible. He's got a giant baby head and it just don't look right. The man has no forehead and then you make the back of his head gigantic. I don't think it's there. I think he looks extra derpy. And let me bring in Lieutenant Matt Dan in here because he's king of the derp. I just want you guys to take a look at both of these derp heads that this one isn't any better than this because holy cow look at the side of the face. This motherfucker looks like he's been stung by a bee on the side of his face and needs some epinephrine like 20 minutes ago. But yeah I have a sneaking suspicion that these are made by the same sculptor and if they're not this guy should go the way of the dodo. Anyway let's take a look down at the feet. And hey, wait a second. Wait a second. I know this body. Ah, the dirty bastards reused a whole body on us again. So I'm not gonna go over much, but when you use the same body over and over and over again and not change a single thing but the overlay, I'm probably not gonna like it the third time around when you haven't done much to it. So we're gonna go over the new accessories. A little pouch over here, nicely sculpted as usual. Has a little bit of green paint on there. Just looks like some kind of ammo bag or some kind of medical kit. On this side, more pouch action. You could see the nice texture in it. Nice colored clip there. Up here at the waist, we got a new belt system here. Very bland. It's just brown with some green paint hit here and there. Got a pouch here. Got a gun holster here at a new angle. Angle, but I gotta tell you, this belt just is like floaty as shit. Does not sit well. Yeah, have fun fucking with that. Up here on the torso, you know what it's all about underneath because you got Stalker and that is what you get underneath this figure. And then on top of that, if you didn't know what you get underneath this figure again, here you go. Here's Snake Eyes using the same body. Up here on the body, we got this new overlay. It looks like some bulletproof armor with uh, some clips. 
Pirates. Nice green paint. Up here we get the American flag in his name. This is one of the stupidest things ever. There are only a handful of these G.I. Joes that actually have their fucking names on them. Why the fuck would you put the name on an army builder figure? Now you gotta take it off and this little American flag here, if you wanna keep it, even if you use alcohol, it's gonna drip over to this thing. Fucking stupid move there. Over here we got a knife sheath. Up here on his shoulder, he's got a Joe Pro. Paints all over the place in the middle. They don't use silver paint on him anymore, it's just gray. Around the back, more nice sculpted detail. Just looks like more body armor. Nice little straps around the side. Here on the chest is another gripe of mine. He's got this little cell phone just stuck to him. Pinned in there, really odd. And I don't want to try and pop it out, but this thing moves around all the time and gets in the way. And I mean, at least this thing stays shut when you open and close it, but I think over time it's just gonna start hanging open. I think it's another silly design flaw in this figure, and I really think an army builder didn't really need this. And I know the original grunt's a basic figure, and I'm keeping all that in mind. The arms are just the same. You got the little green uh, pouch up there, very reminiscent of the vintage figure. Same thing on this side. Gloves have nice brown paint, but all in all, just a very bland and generic figure. All right, let's Let's look at the accessories. We're gonna take a look at this tiny little knife. Knife looks good, cast in a black plastic with some silver paint. I don't know why they didn't put that on the Joe Pro. Has a nice little handle, just a little mini Rambo knife. Here we got his little pistol. Looks like a real pistol, so no complaints there. No nerf action. Has a port for blast effects. They poured in great. Here we got his machine gun. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is a really nice weapon to include. It's still kind of gummy, but it's mainly straight. Lots of detail. The magazine does come out. So watch that when you're taking it out of the bag. Magazine ports in no problem. Has a little scope at the top and all in all a very cool weapon. So at least there's a plus side so far. The one weapon, the main selling point of the set for me. Stupid G.I. Joe rifle from the cartoon. And and I love this weapon. I hope they include it with more figures. I know it's fucking stupid, but it hits my nostalgia button in a very big way when I see this dumb rifle. Nice sculpted details, got some green paint, has a port for blast effects. Port's in there great, looks awesome, very pleased. All right, here we got the helmet. If I didn't drop it, here's a look at his helmet. It's made out of ooey gooey plastic. Looks pretty much like all the other G.I. Joe helmets, but it's fitted to him. It's a new sculpt. Got a nice brown color down here for the straps. More detailing along the side. And overall, a pretty cool looking helmet that fits in with the rest of the line. Here we have the Steel Core helmet, and I really like this. I had the mail away as a kid, so this helmet always just brings me back. Sculpted really good within the visor. Down here we got the silver and the black. Up here we got a little bit more silver in the green. With just overall really good sculpting, so. And right here we have his backpack. It's a little tiny guy, but he doesn't need anything big. Nice texturing and sculpting all in here. I like the bag and the straps. We got more bags here with our storage pole on this side and this side. And on the back just the peg and more texture. All right, now we're gonna take a look at him with some of his accessories on. First up, let's get the helmet on him, because holy god, his head is just so derpy. All right, Mr. Derp, here's your helmet. Uh, we got a problem. We got a design problem, y'all. This helmet doesn't fit on his head all that great, and it kind of wobbles. And because the straps are hanging, it interferes with the way his head moves. So be prepared for that. At least it hides some of the derp factor, but he really just his head is way too round. He's uh, he don't look right to me. Here he is with the knife. Fits in his hand good, no problem. It looks like they bit off the end of that knife, so it's pretty blunt. Fits into the sheath, no problem. You can store it like that. Derpy helmet go down. Or you could store it at the top like that. But I don't know why you would, because he can't grab it. And there it is, it looks really good there. Let's fix that derpy helmet again. Alright, the machine gun fits into his hands, no problem. Looks 
good. The stock actually reaches his arm and can fit in there really well. And here he is with the cartoon pew pew rifle, which warms my heart. Looks really good. I'm gonna have to get like 50 of these stupid things for every one of my G.I. Joes. Next up, we got the Steel Brigade helmet. I'm just gonna let you know, I've taken the helmet off a few times and maybe I got a defective one, but this head peg, it don't move anywhere. And from taking the head off like three or four times, I have a bad feeling this thing's gonna break in the future. So be careful with yours. Like I said, mine looks fused and it will never move again. All right, so let's just pop that in there. And yeah, the neck peg just does not wanna go in there. It's just, you're gonna keep crushing it and it barely can go on there. I just got a bad feeling about this thing breaking over time. It, it's just not built very well. And that fell down again. Yeah, there it is. There's the uh, steel core helmet. And I like it. It makes him a troop builder, but uh, every troop builder is gonna have the same fucking name on it, which is stupid. There he is with his pistol. Fits in his hand, no problem. Ports into the holster, no problem. All right, we got his backpack. We're just gonna peg that in. And that goes in pretty good. Take that rifle, port it in there. Fits in there really well. And over here, we just pull that magazine out. The magazine just ports right into there. So he can hold the magazine in his belt. Now you can take the rifle and just port it right into the peg. Mucho storage on the blandest figure ever. Oh, his helmet popped up again. What else is new? And there he is. He's got everything on him. I love the whole storage deal. You know my thoughts on storage. He's plain Jane. He's supposed to be. And I don't mind that at all. But mainly it's just the crazy amount of reuse and just for people wondering, we're gonna try the steel core helmet on a few other figures. Here's the helmet on the flint body. It does not port in, it just floats, but there you go. Same deal on roadblock, it just floats, it does not fit in. It does port on the Rakondo's head, no problem. Moves back and forth and up and down better than it does on the grunt figure. That's kind of fucking stupid. And last up, it fits on stalker, no problem. Hmm, I wonder why. First size comparison. We have them with Lowlight and the Cobra Island Firefly. Here we have them with Snow Serpent and Snow Jorb. Here he is with the Range Viper and Major Blood. Here we have them with Duke and Cobra Commander. Here we got Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. So, at the end of the day, and my final thoughts on this figure are, he's way too much reuse. They wanted to make an army builder, but they put his fucking name on it. I am very happy about the accessories that they're fun. The headstock on mine is damaged. Hopefully that isn't a problem with everybody else. For all you haters, I do understand that Grunt is one of the most basic G.I. Joes there are. And I don't mind this. Too much reuse with a shitty head sculpt. And that's all I got this time, people. I'd like to thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you on the next review. Boom! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.